Hello and welcome to this video. Um, I saw this container that I um, emptied out and I got inspired. I thought that would make a cool uh, bonsai pot. So I have a small elm tree and um, thought it'd be fun to put it in here. So I hope you join me. While that um, wood burner is heating up, I'm going to lightly sand this to prepare it for, um, for painting. Here's the little U that I'm planning on. U. Uh, let me start over. Here's the little elm that I'm planning on um, using. And then here's some of my other trees that I have uh, growing in containers. Um, for a bonsai like thing. So. This made me think of something that I wanted to bring up, which is I've watched different uh, uh, YouTube videos that talk about bonsai making. And a lot of times they're very specific to say, this that I'm working on is not a bonsai. And because it's not in the right pot or it's not trained like they want it to be, and so just from thinking about what I've heard people saying stuff, I have a philosophy about things like art and bonsai and stuff like that. And the intent is what matters in my opinion. So if I, so with the bonsai, uh, it kind of t it has to be in a pot because that's part of the constraints of it and it has to be well, maybe it doesn't even have to be a tree. Some people use plants um, and consider them bonsai, but I would want it to be a tree. In any case, within those two constraints, you could, is if, in my opinion, if the creator, their intent says, this is um, a bonsai, then in my opinion, it is. Just, it might not be a very good one, just like artwork. If the creator says this is a piece of art, then it is. It may not be very good art, but um, so I just thought that was an interesting thing that I wanted to communicate. Um, while you may hear, and I've heard people be pretty kind of elitist or particular about what they consider a, a bonsai and or a real art and stuff like that, and these days it really seems to be pretty easy, in my opinion, to make the argument that um, anything can be art. And so if you put, have a tree in a pot and you say, this is a bonsai, then I would say it is, even if you haven't trained it according to the classical training. And even if um, it's not old, maybe it's not, doesn't have a nice tapered, really thick tapered trunk, maybe, um, 
Maybe it's in an ugly pot. Maybe it's in a, an old spam container. Um, well, it's off-brand spam, but anyway. Um, but what is your intent on it? And are you trying to do something creative with it? So anyway, there's something, my two cents about that. Well, this paint job didn't turn out as cool as I'd hoped it would be. Uh, I thought it would be like this cool variation of browns and stuff. And it's not bad, but maybe black would have been better. And I don't have a proper uh, bonsai soil, but I have this real sandy um, mixture here. With some few larger particulates in there. So this, uh, last summer, I found some seeds and wondered what they were, so I stuck them in this can with dirt. And then I saw a tree with those same seeds on it, so I looked it up. And the internet's called it elm, or Chinese elm. So these are a year old from seed. If I knew what I was doing, I'd probably cut this root off. I've seen people do that. Um, but since it's pretty young and I'm just putting it in this tiny pot, I'm gonna coil that root up. I've never done any root pruning before. So this is kind of a fun little project and I'm not really ready to start it yet. I just goof around, you know? Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and please consider checking out some of my other videos. Bye.